Today is uh, Saturday, June 16th. Do a quick update here on my aquaponics and wicking bed system. Um, this here is the wicking bed that is doing really, 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 really well. This is a rucula. It's really nice and green, nice and fleshy. And as well as over here, I've got some spinach. Um, both are doing really, really well beyond my my expectations and I'm really glad I tried it because um, the same stuff in my aquaponic system is not doing um, anywhere nearly as well um, you can see these are these are kinda yellowish and palish this arugula this is in the uh, the raft system and this is another raft full of full of the same thing and then over here is some spinach which only this one really is looking is looking any good and the rest of these are, are, are just nasty, um, palish. Um, usually this kind of discoloration is due to iron deficiency, but the thing is I've added chelated iron to the system two weeks in a row and the plants haven't gotten any better. I'm going to go ahead and add another bottle today even though I don't think it's it's likely to be the iron because this is just not Usually when you add chelated iron, the plants um, green up right away. So other than the iron, um, the other two things that aquaponic systems are de deficient in are potassium and uh, calcium. And I added some potassium last week, and there's already calcium in the fish food, so I shouldn't need to add any calcium to it. Um, but I, I do have some some crushed eggshells in a baggie in one of the the um, one of the gravel beds, so it shouldn't be deficient in calcium. So the only possibility is potassium, which I added last weekend, and then today I added some phosphorus, even though it really shouldn't be deficient in that either. But I just added some just in case because that's that's a common plant deficiency. But I, I really don't know. Um, what we're looking at here, by the way, this is a watermelon plant that's in one of my gravel beds. Um, in the last video update, which was only two weeks ago, this plant really only had maybe a couple of big leaves over here. And um, it's grown a whole lot since then, as you can see. It hasn't set any fruit yet, and I, I don't expect it to because um, the nitrate levels are too high. and uh, High nitrate levels promote green leafy growth and inhibit fruit setting so I don't think it's going to be setting fruit until I get the nitrate levels down which I I don't even I'm not even set up to do that right now so I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with that plant um, I was hoping the high nitrate levels would result in in good uh, strong growth of the spinach and the arugula but it's not um, but that's obviously because these are deficient in something that's keeping them from from growing um, otherwise they would look like these in the wicking bed which really look good I'm really happy about those not much else to report on this bed doesn't have anything new in it it's the uh, aloe plant there and here's the sump sump has um, fingerlings in it now that that um, appeared in the appeared <laughs> a couple weeks ago and um, they're about an inch in size now this is the the filter between the fish tank and the sump and somehow those those um, those uh, fry somehow got from the tank through this filter and into the sump um, it's pretty remarkable and here are the fish in the fish tank everything's fine and normal in there so anyway hopefully um, I figure out what the mineral deficiency is over here so that this arugula and spinach can go from that to this. So anyway, that's about it for this week. Thanks for tuning in.